Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome back to Build Request. And yes, you heard me correctly, it's not a Halo Infinite video, Banjo fans rejoice. And this request is requested by Brady Morris 7195 and Atashi 123, lots of numbers there, and is Faze Redtail from Cowboy Bebop. That's right, folks, the live action series may have been cancelled after one season, but Build Request is still going. While I was making this vehicle, I was watching Cowboy Bebop the movie in the background, and it's a good thing I was, because as I started the build, I was working really hard trying to make it function like a VTOL, while also holding close to the aesthetics of the vehicle in the show. Though, as I was watching the movie in the background, the scene where Faze Redtail comes up against Vincent in the truck came up, and I realised that Faze Redtail does in fact not function as a VTOL at all, and so working to make the replica of it do so, is a total waste of time. And so I scrapped this, which was good news, because it meant without having to hide unnecessary functionality in the vehicle's looks, I was instead able to concentrate entirely on its aesthetics, which I hopefully got looking pretty darn good. The hardest thing to get right in it though was, ironically, the Red Tail's Red Tail itself, which in the show and the movie sits kind of just only above the cockpit, and the way the block spacing goes made this rather difficult. I did eventually manage to get it looking pretty okay, but it's definitely still not great, and far from perfect. However, once I had finally managed to get the Red Tail's Red Tail looking at least good enough, and then get the arms of the vehicle hammered out, the silhouette of the vehicle was, at the very least, looking pretty darn good. It was at the stage that if you had seen the show recently and saw my ship, you could probably figure out what it was supposed to be after only a few guesses. And so then from this silhouette I started to add the nitty gritty details, which is cool because sometimes in Banjo-Kazooie builds it can be difficult to add any small details at all really just because the blocks are so big and there's only so much space, but I feel like I was able to add some pretty good ones in this build. For instance, I did do the chains or wires that connect from the arms to the guns, Though, ironically, I somehow missed doing the antenna thing that sits off from the red tail, and I'm not really sure how I didn't notice that until recording this audio, so if you're wanting it fixed, you're going to have to do that yourself. Either way, with most of the nitty gritty details now filled in, minus that antenna, I do apologise, and with a quick paint job that looks rather good, Faze red tail was finally done. It didn't take off very well, so I had to use the lazy detacher on wheels trick that I use for the Jedi Starfighter to make it take off and fly. People don't seem to like it when I do that, but I'm lazy, so that's what you've gotten. But regardless, with that done, Faze Redtail from Cowboy Bebop the Animated Series and not the Live Action Series was complete. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I would say it looks as good as Spike Swordfish, and definitely better than my attempt at the Bebop. If you'd like a copy of this vehicle in your own save, what's going to follow now, as always, is the layer by layer, so feel free to copy it over. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, a link to my Twitter and the Channel Grim and Grin Discord are in the descriptions below. And with all of that said and done, thanks for watching, and until next time, I have been and still am Grim Grindle.